Hey guys, this is Price the Producer with GlobalAudioTools.com. I have beats available at PriceTheProducer.com and I want to thank you all for tuning in as always. What we're going to go ahead and do is basically not so much to give you guys a sound demonstration today, but more so we're going to touch a uh, base on the beat side. Uh, we did open up a brand new section that we we're very proud of over at GlobalAudioTools.com and it is going to be listed under FL Studio 12 FLPs. Now, I do see a lot of people selling FLPs and things of that nature, so I went ahead and decided, you know, we should too. Uh, but the only difference is these are going to be diff uh, different type of templates, basically, or uh, more standard, so to speak. Uh, what I mean by that is if you look right here on screen, it says Wicked FL Studio 12.2 Beat Template. So it is very direct. You understand, uh, you know, you do need 12.2 of FL Studio 12.2 or higher to utilize this specific template. If you try and use any other format, it would not work. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue. I don't want to go ahead and, and, you know, try and speak on what it is. So let's just go ahead and double click on that. So after you purchase the kit and pick it up or the template and pick it up, it's going to open up just like that and very smooth as each one of these uh, channels are simply hollowed out uh, sample tracks. There is nothing within these uh, channels. They're just hollowed out. They're just MIDI mapped, fully arranged, as you can see right here in a context of intro, pre-hook, hook one, verse one, hook two, verse two, hook three, and the outro. You know, you do have all the basic beat elements, meaning you have a main instrument, a main instrument two. You have some sort of ambient sound for this specific type of beat. Uh, the beat is called Wicked, so it is a dark, uh, dark trap type beat, so to speak. It is in a description on each one of the templates that will have the description on the beat. I'll actually have a sound demonstration of each of the templates as well on the uh, product page, so you guys know what the actual template sounds like as well as I'll play the actual beat that this um, came from on the beginning and ends of these videos, or rather on the end, sorry. So with that being said, as you can see right here, it's a fully mapped beat. You do have all the elements, 808, kick, hi-hat, etc. And I did give you access to the uh, entire intellectual content so that way you guys can arrange and move, add and subtract as you see fit. Now, if we actually go into the master section, there's a mix on it as well have all the channels running into it, just a stock FO uh, love filter, a fruity love filter, which comes with FO Studio. Now I'm gonna scan through all of these, as you can see right here, follow with me on 18. I'm gonna scan down through one. There is no other effects on there. It's just a good sounding mix for the beat. So that's pretty much it. What you guys would have to do is, I wanna show you guys before I actually say that. So if I go back over here and I hit play, there's gonna be absolutely no sound coming out from this beat on any point, any part of it. Simply, again, because it is a, just a template, it is a hollowed out beat, you would actually have to sound select and input your own sounds as you see fit. I felt that this would give you more dynamics, more leeway, as opposed to picking up some sort of stolen FLP or something of that nature and having a bunch of errors. It may not even be compatible as, you know, you, you weren't walked through the process of that actual FLP. So basically, um, yeah, I want to go ahead and just try and demonstrate. I'll actually add maybe a little bit of some sounds within here. I'll add a main and maybe this uh, main instrument too, an 808 snare and a hi-hat to see what we can get going here. So let's go over to the sequencer. If I play this out, again, there's going to be no output. I'm just going to go ahead and trade this with an instance of Omnisphere. Give me one second. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and select a preset, and let's play that out. Let's hear what we got. So as you can see, that is the main instrument one. Let's go ahead and add um, another instrument, the main instrument two. I'm going to go ahead and open up an instance of... Electra, let's gonna go. I'm gonna go to leads. I actually use this sound a lot uh, inside MF. I love that sound. Thank you. 
as you guys can see right there that beats already sounding really really great i mean i just went back and added some sounds i selected what sounds that i normally would like to use the sounds that i like that i think that i see fit you know as you see i mean you're seeing me do everything right here i just selected an 808 that i like as well um that's pretty much what these templates are are it. you know that's what they're for you guys they're able you know they're able for you guys they're there for you guys to basically access uh, start to uh, you know get inspired to create new beats to learn to examine to move tweak as you see fit i mean by all means you know go ahead and move the whole entire beat around if you like or leave it as it is as they are royalty free you can go ahead and input your own sounds and then from that point forward you can just go ahead and export the beat and upload it to your website to sell i mean it really doesn't get more better than that so I hope this guys gives you a good understanding of what these templates are. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and drop them below as I will get back to you. And that's pretty much it. Thank you all for tuning in. You'll have a great day. www.pricetheproducer.com producer.com